Project 2025, a controversial topic that you've probably heard about on the presidential campaign, and it was the focus of a town hall meeting by Democratic Congressman Mark Pocan tonight. WMTV's Tabitha Bland was at the town hall, and Tabitha, what was Pocan's message tonight? Yeah, Pocan really hammered down the point that he feels that Project 2025 would negatively affect Wisconsin voters. There is this idea that um, young people aren't engaged or involved in this, and first of all, they are. Madison voter Lindsay Tyson is referring to Project 2025. She went to a town hall meeting tonight where Congressman Mark Pocan spoke about his thoughts on the project. Project 2025 is written by 140 former Trump uh, administration officials. It's very clearly tied to Donald Trump, and yet he's trying to run away from it. All the more reason we should know what's in it. Pocan covered topics in Project 2025, like prescription drugs, Medicare, abortion, and climate. And I think by talking about the really the power grab that it has on behalf of the federal government, taking away so many freedoms and rights of people, uh, those are the sort of things people need to know about before going to vote in November. The GOP released a statement about the meeting tonight, saying, quote, it should come as no surprise that Mark Pocan is parroting debunked claims about Project 2025, an initiative that President Trump himself called abysmal. The truth is Democrats have nothing to offer voters but falsehoods and failure. Wisconsinites are ready to lower inflation and secure the border by electing Donald Trump and J.D. Vance this November. Pocan then wrapped up the town hall meeting by saying that voter turnout in Madison is what wins Wisconsin in elections. In studio, Tabitha Bland, WMTV 15 News.